Hey guys, so recently I had to uh, factory reset my PC and when I factory reset it, I lost all my files and that included all of my music. So I've been trying to find a way to get all that music back. I have it all on my iPod, but the problem is I have an iPod Touch, so every time you connect it to the computer, it reads it as a camera and therefore you cannot look at your audio files. So I did a lot of searching and a lot of trial and error if you could say that I went through a lot of programs trying to find this being one of them that was just a free trial and I didn't want to do it a billion times there'd be song limits on them so I finally found this sync iOS program which I think I'm, you guys will find this useful so if you want to go to their website it's syncios.com then we can go under here products Sync iOS free, and then there's your Windows download. You can also do a Mac download right there. Um, you know, I'm not sure what the pro version entails, but I just went with the free one, and I could do unlimited songs. So that's what I did. So once you download that, you're gonna want to open that up. It has you open up iTunes as well. You can see I got all my music in there now. So then we'll connect our iPod here. And it's going to ask us to close iTunes. So we can go ahead and close that. And here is where you have access to all your apps, your photos, your media would be your songs. And once all that loads, there's all the songs that are on my iPod Touch. So then you would go, you can select them all with this. You can click export. And this is where you're going to choose where you want to save those songs. So right now I made a folder in my music called iPod Music. Now it will take about 10 minutes. See, as you can see, I have 10 gigs of music. So it took a little bit to export them all to that folder. But once I did that, let's see here. Uh, boom. All these songs went into the folder. So then I was able to open up iTunes. And literally just copy all of these songs and drag them into iTunes. And that is how, I mean, I got all these songs in iTunes, and that saves me so much trouble. And now I'm back to where I started before, where I had to reset my computer. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, uh, just go ahead and leave those in the comments. I don't really know too much about all this stuff, but I can try and help you out. And uh, yeah, thank you.